Hey guys, welcome back to Appalachian Garden Homesteading. Just thought I'd give you a preview. This is our third duck egg this week. Yes, one of our females, possibly all three, I'm not sure, is laying eggs now. So that's duck eggs. So that's another another product that we have here on the homestead to uh, try to start making a little bit of a profit off of what we've got into here uh trying to support a homestead with uh there you go there's two two ducks two male ducks two three uh female ducks and we're getting uh an egg a day right now so i just uh cleaned our little pond out there and gave them some fresh water but now you see that and i gave them their favorite food which is uh crushed mash uh chicken feet pretty much so it's working i mean they love it they've gotten big their color's looking good now they've got a lot of good color them male ducks they have a a really unique color kind of greenish blackish uh a little bit of i don't know what you call it just different really pretty colors I'm sorry about that zip tie anyway there you go there you have it folks there's what we've got going on right now on the homestead we've got duck eggs coming and we're averaging from the uh eight hens that we have now we're averaging seven to eight a day and uh here it is january 10th uh 2024 but look at there. There they are. They're having a good time. The guineas are having a good time. Guinea guinea don't ever come off the roof hardly. So I had to move that water up a little bit for him. Uh, so he would uh, be able to get some water. And there's our little female calling in the next door neighbor's males. Even though they can't get together. But uh, this run is really working out for the chickens. And the guineas on this end as far as what i did back in december and there's roosty boy there's roosty hey don't roosty and then uh our rabbits are working out fine in there i put them on the bottom of a little dog house in there turned it upside down they've got themselves a hole they go into at night uh bury themselves pretty much <laughs> and uh made a rabbit tad out of it. And as you can see, they're cleaning up everything, drinking plenty of water. They get ready to go to bed here in a little bit. Ain't that right, Rooster? There you go, Rooster. All right, now here's a, a rabbit tat. As you can see, they eat quite a bit. They didn't even touch their carrots or their uh, green veggies today. But they're in the corners relaxing a little bit. They've dug around a lot and make tunnel. Alright, here's a our Raven clan. We've got a little bit of a problem over here. We got too many roosters. So I'm more than likely more than likely gonna have to get uh not get rid of but try to uh renavigate possibly sell one of these roosters the aggressive one because he is actually not very happy as far as the hens situation and this guy is as you can see is protecting one of those hens that hen there with the disheveled uh, feathers uh, poor thing she she had it rough a while ago so she's finally come out of the house to eat and there's actually one up in the house possibly sitting on an egg and she's in there eating i put some food in there for her because she don't come out much because the same thing that rooster right there don't like i guess just there's too many roosters not enough hens so nobody but wants a Good looking rooster right there. We might have to do something about that one. Here, that or get more chickens. See here, here, here. Yeah. 
yeah anyway <laughs> but uh i'll go ahead and take y'all into the greenhouse let y'all look sorry for the mess here it will look better eventually oh my bees were out earlier that was pretty cool it was warm up the day out for the bees to be flying and that's very unusual for january all right let's make a quick trip in here we still, yeah, we still warm in here. It was 85 when I came in earlier, and uh, now it's dropped down to 60. Of course, I have watered the uh, peas. The peas are looking fairly decent. We've got two good plants there. Uh, something's eating that, I think. Yep, I just noticed that. Might be the crickets. I don't know. And we got a couple of fine looking carrots popping up through the uh into this uh raised bed kind of flat raised bed right now because i took my board out for a, a ramp hey <laughs> yeah not a bicycle ramp it's a ramp uh don't see no more carrots popping through just yet but they've been in there for a few weeks if they don't come out soon i'm sure that when warm weather comes on They'll probably start popping just the way carrots do. But uh, there, there's only like two or three carrots. Here are our bed top uh, beets, I think. What the Bed top beets. And it looks like something's eating the leaves on these too. So uh, I've got a pest in here. I need to get rid of it. Yeah, so we got a, quite a few of them popping through, but they're not getting no bigger than that, which, same with these. I think something's eating them now, so we'll see. Sorry about my runny nose this January, but I did clean up the greenhouse somewhat. Got better organized on my seed trays, my weed barrier. I've got my heat lamp set up on this side of the greenhouse. Basically, just to keep the heat in here in the nighttime, try to keep the frost off. But I do have some open areas that probably is a problem. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, I, it looks a lot better in here than what it did. Still got my strings hanging up on the uh, from the tomatoes last year. I'm gonna yank that stuff down, cut it down without cutting my plastic. But the uh, we had winds the other day that was 50 plus mile an hour. And for some reason, you know that deal where you're supposed to cut your tie bands is it ties off the greenhouse? I didn't. For the fact of it is, if some of them pop loose, they'll be hanging there or fell to the ground, and I'll be able to know where I need to add more of them. So <laughs> when they start breaking, you're going to have a problem. So what I'll do is I come in here every now and then and check and just see if I've got any missing or if they look different. I like that one back there. I don't, I think it's broke. So I'm going to replace it or put another with it. One or two. So this high tunnel cattle panel greenhouse is fairly amazing. Uh, I got a lot more room in here to do stuff. And I'm going to put a raised bed right down the middle of this here. To, I think it's 18 feet to here, so leave enough room for my door to swing open and get some pots through there to the right side. Uh, probably going to put another raised bed right down the middle of this and grow to my tomatoes on in the middle to where I can trellis them up right up the middle here to the center of the greenhouse and uh, with the cattle panels and hopefully uh, I can get some smaller things growing on the side uh, I don't know what we're gonna work on some different ideas this year I'm gonna actually get getting a uh, uh, lemon tree uh, and try to do something with it but I will have to close this thing up a lot better next winter uh, a little too late now before we got in here. I got some 
grass growing in the back and killing it off slowly. Uh, but yeah, pretty good, really good investment on this greenhouse. And I'm getting ready to actually see down back there in the back, uh, about a foot and a half off that shelf back there. I'm moving these tables, moving that into the one to the right to the side, taking the one on the left out. And I am going to put a greenhouse inside the greenhouse to do my starts this year. And our starts are coming up in late February is when we're going to start them. How it works, we're going to find out, right? This is our first full year that we'll have in doing this greenhouse. So, and we tried a lot of things that did work. And I think right now we're finding out what don't work. So, <laughs> it is what it is. But there we go, folks. There's the homestead. Got the ducks going good with fresh duck eggs. Uh, we're getting good eggs off of our both batches of chickens and rabbits are doing real good. We're, we're going to be getting a lot of fertilizer out of there and out of the chickens actually. We're going, and we built the composter uh, back in December. So we'll be starting to fill that thing up before long for the fall time compost to put on the garden for next for the next year 2026 all right there's the garden with all the compost laid out on it and it's rained quite a bit so it's getting soaked in folks it's really getting soaked in another thing too i'm gonna probably try to do is to come off of there at the end of this at the end of this run come out and not even use this part of my garden no more. And come right in front of the greenhouse with a fence. And then go all the way. All the way down past the, the, ch the rabbit tractor. All the way past down there. And come down and run up run straight back up. And connect to this run. And kind of give like two separate areas for the chickens to go so we can let the other side grass back up where they're killing it <laughs> and this side here will be open to them we'll do our onions probably in the back side of the greenhouse from now on back that way on the other end and uh we're gonna see what happens this year and see what we can produce so if you guys like homesteading watching people learn homesteading or if you've got anything that you like to add or to ask me or to give me advice on please let me know in the comments i appreciate it and uh thank you guys for coming to the to the homestead and checking us out if you haven't subscribed please do and we will see you guys on the next one keep it real